going. 
fun of something that they truly love and believe in, like, it's never a good thing, so I'm, I wasn't trying to offend with witches and, and the burning, because it was a very real thing, and, um, it's actually really sad that that, that the witch trials happened, um, you know, because they were burning these people, these women, mostly, for, you know, unexplained things for this magic, right? But here's the thing, magic is very real. Wiccan, I, I studied very briefly at the beginning of this year, and it was, it was beautiful. It was, it's more pagan, I guess you could say. It was more the general, the broad end of it. And, uh, first of all, the pagan community was very welcoming, and they actually told me, like, I'd be very interested in it for the most part, right? And, um, I really got into protection, and the big thing, like, protection spells and stuff like that, and the big thing was spell work, and, you know, using the elements of nature. Everything is nature. Pagan, Wiccan is, like, nature's religion. It's, like, the first religion before God, Christianity, Judaism. It's, like, nature's religion, using the power of the universe, using the elements of nature to conduct magic, to have that law of attraction, to attract things into our lives, to make things happen. And obviously during the witch trials, people did not like, did not like this, this unknown, this, this secret, if you will, back then. And so, yeah, it's actually a very, very sad thing. Um, so, when I said the witches and the burning, you know, I was trying to be a little lighthearted about it, but it actually is a very, um, very sad and very serious thing. Um. I respect it tremendously because it was the first religion, I guess you could say, but it's not structured, it's not organized. It is a little bit more now. There's obviously groups and there's teachings and there's meetings and there's online stuff and it's great, but um, I'm not super, super well versed in it, so I didn't delve in deep enough, but I, I do use a lot of um, a lot of smoke in my um, practices and stuff, and I don't necessarily cast spells, but I do write down, you know, intentions, and intention is such a big part of Wiccan, Beg, and all of that. Um, and the biggest thing with Wiccan and Beg, and you know, a lot of, a lot of people were, well, not a lot, a few people would try and troll me and say, we're gonna put, like, hexes and curses, and actually, it's, it's, it's the opposite, like, you're not supposed to cast negative spells on anyone, or, or wish people harm on that. reactions were like, is this kind of demonic? Is this kind of like something with the devil? And it's, it's really not. It's, it's nature. It's goodness. It's focusing on the positive. It's attracting good. It's bringing up everybody else with nature and its elements. And, um, like I said, I love to work with smoke. I love to work with water. And, um, it's a really beautiful thing. Religion, religion can be beautiful. I think we kind of know, um, the religious structure synagogue, a mosque, you know, and there's that structure and then there's those rules. I was raised Catholic and there were so many 
huge family to raise their baby. But I, you know, I can't judge anyone, like, for what they do, how they raise their kid, because they're just doing their best. And I truly believe every parent does their best. Obviously, if they're abusive, they're, that's, they're a piece of shit. It's a whole different story. But I truly feel like parents just do their best at a very difficult job. Back to the try being an influencer. Was it out of touch? So much. Yeah. Do I think she meant it to come across that way? Absolutely not. There's just no way someone means to insult their entire audience and fan base and people on TikTok. Most of the people on TikTok are not influencers. They are people that have quote unquote regular jobs, right? And I think the thing happens with new influencers like this new wave of influencers, you know, they, when I, when I started on YouTube, you know, YouTube was brand new, there was no influencers, there was no TikTok, there was no Instagram, so I was working regular jobs, and they were really difficult, and if anyone knows anything about my past, I was a sex worker, I worked at nightclubs, dance clubs, webcamming, I also worked retail, juice bars, soda fountains, you know, I worked background on TV shows. I clapped in the audience at Family Feud. Like, I really, really hustled um, to make money and they all sucked. All those jobs were horrible. And I don't know if it's because it's like I have borderline personality and I just couldn't hold a job, but I was quitting jobs left and right. I was getting fired left and right. Working in a strip club, working on webcam, I just was miserable. I felt disgusting. Not to say those jobs are disgusting. I felt disgusting because of what I would do for like twenty dollars or like whatever. I still work in that. In I still work in the sex industry. I do uh, OF and um, I like I I do love that. That's my. I'm in control. It's lucrative. I like what I post. I'm in control of what I post. It's a beautiful thing for me. So I'm not knocking that industry at all. Nor did I completely leave it. Just found a job now is being an influencer. I'm in control of everything. I decide what goes out. I decide what I do. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. But when you have those nine to fives in your, or not even nine to five, when you just have those jobs that aren't turning a camera on and making $10,000 for a sponsor post for 30 seconds, and you, it takes you a year to make that $10,000 and you compromise your morals or you don't see your family or whatever to get that $10,000, you know, you know the value of it. And I just feel it is so easy to make money and it is so easy to become an influencer. That's one thing I'll disagree with her on. It is very easy to become an influencer. I think a lot of it is luck. A lot of it can be talent. A lot of it is collabing, who you know. A lot of it is just the algorithms pushing you. But it seems like there are so many influencers. You look at VidCon, you look at all these things, and there are just influencers everywhere. And hey, that's not a bad thing. The fact that someone with 10,000 followers can make $10,000 a month, like, amazing, right? There's so many influencers I never heard of that are killing it, that are crushing it, that are making so much money. And I think it's great because, again, I'm law of attraction. I'm all about abundance. There is so much in this world that we can all win that we can all have a flow of just crazy, crazy money and success. Like, you making your bag doesn't take away from mine. There's, it's raining bags here, you know what I mean? So, even a micro-influencer can make money. So, I do think there's a lot of people who do just social media. I know so many that have less than 10,000 followers and make a living. They make five, six thousand dollars a month, which is amazing. Putting out content once or twice a week. It's cool. Um, so, if you want to be an influencer, hey, do it. <laughs> you could get a lot of bullying and harassment and people can't take that. And I understand. I was, I was bullied and harassed my whole life, but more importantly, I bullied and harassed myself. I was so hard on myself that other things people said could never really hurt me. You know what I mean? So, if you're prepared for that, you know, prepare for the worst, I guess. But sometimes the trade-off is worth it. Sometimes also protect your mental health. Sometimes the trade-off is not worth it. But I really do think people just wanted to cancel. And I don't know who it was. I don't know how it starts. I don't know where, who found that clip, right? But is saying something that's out of touch worth cancellation? I don't know. Look, she'll be fine. She has 10 million followers. If half of those people leave, she still has 5 million. But I'll tell you what. Five million people are not going to leave. <laughs> and people can forgive, and a lot of people came to her defense, and I think that's really great, too. And I think, you know, 
that stuff. 